Hi, I'm Dr. Tony Kramer, and people ask me all the time if they really need to get their pets vaccinated. The answer is easy. Yes, your pets really need to be vaccinated. But even after hearing the answer, a lot of people still have more questions. Mainly why, what risks are involved, and what kind of vaccines do they really need? Most of these pet owners have been on the internet and have read all kinds of conflicting information. A lot of it's misguided and not based on science. So let's look at the facts about vaccinations and just what they are. <laughs> Vaccines are products designed to trigger protective immune responses in pets. This gets their bodies ready and able to fight future infections when they come in contact with these disease-causing agents. Vaccines usually prevent certain diseases altogether, but if a vaccinated pet does come down with a disease for which it has already been vaccinated, the pet's illness is often much less severe. That's why vaccines are so important. If an unvaccinated pet gets one of these diseases, treatment can become very expensive and most of these diseases can be fatal despite treatment. Very young puppies and kittens are highly susceptible to infectious diseases because their immune systems are not fully mature. To provide optimal protection against disease in the first few months of life, a series of vaccinations are scheduled by your veterinarian, usually three to four weeks apart. For most puppies and kittens, the final vaccination in the series is given at about four months of age. Remember, an incomplete series of vaccinations may lead to incomplete protection, making puppies and kittens vulnerable to infection. It's also important to remember that pets can be vaccinated for some zoonotic diseases, which are diseases that can be spread from animals to people. Rabies is a serious and nearly 100% fatal disease that can be spread from infected animals to people. By vaccinating your pet for rabies, you are protecting your family as well as your pet. Vaccination against rabies is required by law in most states. By now you might be saying, this is all well and good, I understand, I'm going to get my pet vaccinated. But what should I vaccinate them against? Well, that's a great question and should be a topic of discussion with your veterinarian. Not all pets should be vaccinated with all available vaccines. Core vaccines are recommended for all pets in a particular area because they protect them against diseases most common in that area. Examples of core vaccines for dogs include rabies, distemper, and parvo. Non-core or lifestyle vaccines are reserved for individual pets with unique needs. For example, your veterinarian might recommend the canine influenza vaccine for your dog if your dog's activities and environment put him at high risk of exposure to canine influenza. Your veterinarian will consider your pet's risk of exposure to a variety of preventable diseases in order to customize a vaccine program for optimal protection throughout your pet's life. Pet owners also want to know about risk. There's a lot of inflammatory information on the internet about the dangers of vaccination, but is this information true? Most pets respond well to vaccines. The most common adverse responses are similar to what you might experience yourself after a vaccine and are mild and short term. They include fever, sluggishness, and reduced appetite. Pets may also experience temporary pain or subtle swelling at the site of the vaccination. Don't get me wrong, serious adverse reactions, although uncommon, can occur and require prompt treatment. So the best advice is to always let your veterinarian know about any abnormalities you notice after your pet has been vaccinated. Cats are more likely than dogs or other pets to develop certain tumors called sarcomas after vaccination. Although very uncommon, they can be life-threatening. Talk to your veterinarian about an appropriate vaccination plan for your cat to maximize protection from disease and minimize the risk of sarcoma formation. Vaccines have the ability to prevent your pets from contracting life-threatening diseases and are a vital part of your pet's preventive health care. Remember to take your pet to the veterinarian for routine visits and ask them what vaccination plans are right for your pet. For more information on vaccines and preventive health care, visit avma.org.